But when I watched that yesterday, yeah. you know what I thought, right? Yeah. I watched his body language. Yeah. And he wrote it down to be careful. It was like, it's over. Like it was saying, now barring an injury, yeah. it kind of felt like it's conceded. I'm, I'm going to agree with you on that. I'm going to agree because it's like, you know, I, I, I always use the you know, analogy, you know, you think about the Serengeti, right? When that lion comes by and you ain't taking care of your pride, he going to try you. The king going to try the king. And there's a young lion and Dak Prescott who, who came in and, and now has this opportunity, man, and is and I'm telling you, Colin, why I don't know why he's not the front runner for MVP. Like we have not seen a rookie quarterback come do this in years. Peyton didn't. Not in this league. Eli I mean, took Eli took six years. Yeah, I, I can. I, you can go all the way down the line. So why aren't we doing it? I, I don't. Well, see, he's a rookie. See, but but this is going back to the distraction on what I'm speaking about. We keep focusing on if Romo's going to get back in or not. We should be focusing on this young boy got his team, 8-1, the best record in the National Football League, and he plays for the Dallas Cowboys. Dak Prescott, front runner for the MVP. Well, this, it, I, don't, I don't see nobody else. I'm not putting nobody else above that right now because of his body of work and what he's done in this one season. Now, did, did you, uh, now again, you're, you and I are going to disagree with this. Listen, yeah. <laughs> for the first six years of Romo's life, yeah. that organization, that offensive line was a joke. Now, you played in Baltimore. You had a good GM. You mostly mm-hmm. were surrounded by good players. And you've told me often that one of the reasons you were able to excel because the defensive horse is in front of you. Sure. Tony, for six years, ran for his life. Yeah. And so I think he's underrated. I think he Brady's mm-hmm. always had good lines. Peyton Manning always had stars, Edger and James. And so you, I heard you don't like Romo. <laughs> Could be honest. No, no, that's not I, true. That's what they say. That's not true. I like Romo. But what I'm telling you is right now, Romo is clearly the answer for Dallas is Dak Prescott. So Romo... Well, well, That's what, all I'm saying. What about Tony's career? I want you to spit it right well, out. Well, it's, 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 it's what the standard for Dallas, if you think about this, the standard for Dallas is what they did in the 90s. Aikman, Staubach. Absolutely. Back-to-back Super Bowls. Da, 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 da. That's the standard for Dallas. So when you bring Romo in, you got to understand, it's not about me going against Romo. It's about me saying what Romo was put there to do. It hasn't happened. We're talking about over almost a 20-year span, and they've seen the playoffs, what, once? So, 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 you know, men and women lie, right? But I believe numbers don't. And one thing about the harsh numbers is where in Romo's position, all of the fundamental, fun, fundamentally things, that they, the infrastructure that they put around that, build, go get the, the best offensive line, go get the best running game in DeMarco Murray before you let him go, go get a, a beast wide receiver in, in, in Dez Bryant, go get all of these pieces, go get a Hall of Fame tight end in Jason Witten. Did, let me tell you why I like the quarterbacks, because I mean, why I like the Cowboys, because everything infrastructure-wise is in place. And the one thing that they were missing, maybe, is Dak Prescott. Well, we'll agree to disagree on that.